Hi everyone, this is Mark Bentham from the Kimberley Coffee Company up here in Room, and what I'm doing up here, I'm at the roasting shed and we're going to talk to some local artists. We're going to talk about what they're doing, what songs they've got coming up and we're also, more importantly, going to talk to them about how they take their coffee because I know down in uh, Fremantle down there, look, it's one of the best pastimes that we um, partake. Anyway, today I am really lucky. I've got uh, Tanya Ransom here. Um, and we're going to talk to her a little bit about uh, where she's come from, um, what's influencing her. Uh, we're going to talk about some of her um, uh, songs that she's got on her de- debut album, and we might play a few. So, look, I'm just going to introduce you to Tanya, and um, we're just going to see, well, Tanya, just tell us a little bit about you and where you came from. Hi, Mark. Um, I've been living in Broome, going going on 16 years now and I didn't actually play music until I moved to Broome so I feel like a lot of my musical influences are from the Kimberleys and from the musicians and my friends here and I was always lucky to be really encouraged from right but from my friends and, and my community here from when I first started playing which is now going back probably just over 10 years and um Yeah, so I, back exactly, actually a few days ago, it was um, three years since I launched, had my launch of the debut album, It Is What It Is. We had that at the Pearl Luggers here in Broome, and... Yeah, look, I I remember it was a great night, and uh, it was so exciting. And look, your music really resonates with um, the people of Broome and also Western Australia. But look, just tell me a bit about this um, album, because, you know, I've got a favourite song on there, which um, I like playing when I first got it, but... Um, just tell me, first of all, you funded it. Uh, how, did you, how did you fund this album? I did a crowdfunding through Possible, and so I just kind of utilised by, I guess, fans that I already had and the community here and people, I guess, all around Australia that, that contributed to, I guess, they were just pre-ordering the album, which helped immensely to record it which we did at a friend's place here in Broome. I had Dave Mann from the southwest from Margaret River come up to Broome and co-produce and engineer the album and at the time I'd been playing a lot with um, with my band who was Harry, Harry Jackamara on banjo and bass Albert Gray was on drums and then I also had Will Thomas on some lead guitar and then I was lucky enough to have a few friends like like Dave play and do um, some backing harmonies and then on one particular song I had um, Missy Higgins play some piano and another good friend Iba add some violin so that was... So, wow, you had um, a pretty good look um, support there. Um, So, look, what we're going to do, we're going to play one of the songs from the album, and this is, uh, look, you're supposed to pick it, but I picked this one because my daughter loved it, and it seems to resonate with um, um, younger people as well as older people. And this song, it's um, from the album, um, It Is What It Is, and it's called Under The Sea. I went down by the seaside today Thought it would be nice to swim away I let the water touch my skin I took a breath and I dived right on in Swam out to the deep There's no turning back No, no turning back To the shore for me I fell in love 
turning back, no, no turning back to the show for me. I love that song. It just resonates with me and my daughter and most of um, Broom and also people down there in Fremantle. So um, there's a bit of a backstory there, Tanya, about that song. Yeah, there is with Under the Sea. I, Funnily enough, I wrote it about a fish. It is a true story about a fish. I, <laughs> When I was doing a tour and playing in some gigs in Coral Bay and Exmouth and it's just the most amazing snorkeling straight off the beach there and I wrote a little ukulele song about falling in love with a fish and, <laughs> and has it, it surprised you how that song has sort of jumped out from a lot of the other songs? Yeah it has actually like I find most people, if they are going to request one of my songs, that is the song that they'll, they'll really like. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's a great song. So just tell me this. What's happening now with Tan- Tanya Ransom? Uh, I'm currently working on um, my next album, which I'll be going into the studio soon and laying down that with Dave Mann again, but this time in Margaret River. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll look forward to seeing that. And I'm sure we'll have a little conversation about that when it's ready. But look, let's just play another song um, off your debut album. Uh, what are we going to play now? We're going to play the title track, although I call it the almost title track to the album. Um, it is just what it is. And yeah, so enjoy. Okay. Let's yeah, look forward to listening to it. When you're down. And down.
just is just what it is. Oh, love that song too. Look, if you get a chance to see Tanya live, look, I suggest you do. So she'll be around. She's around in Broome over the dry and down south over the wet and travelling all over the place. Um, but look... You know, if you want to grab this album, and it's just a, a really good album to have in your collection, um, Tanya, how do you get this album? Well, people can, if they want a digital download, they can go onto iTunes or CD Baby, or they can go, if, they, if you want a physical copy, you can go to tanyaransommusic.com.au and you can purchase a copy on that and I'll mail it out to you. Oh, sounds great. And look, would, will you sign it? Yes. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll be in that. <laughs> but look, now now we're getting to um, what we're, we're... One of the reasons we're actually talking to you is that, you know, we all love coffee, and especially being in Fremantle. It's the coffee strip, and I just have some of my favourite cafes down there. But look, tell me, because we all want to know, how do you like your coffee? I like my coffee as a soy flat white. Oh, right. Okay. So, and um, why do you like a soy flat white? Well, I don't. Cow's milk doesn't always agree with me properly. Um, but, and I do, I, I can be a bit picky with my soy milk though, because some soy milk can taste pretty bad. But if you get a good one, then yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. And look, you probably like Kimberley coffee as well, um, <laughs> which, which is what we're all about. But look, thanks for spending some time with us and listening to your music and finding out what sort of coffee you have, and um, all the best, and we'll, we'll have a chat to you when your new album's out. Thanks, Mark. <laughs> thanks, guys. Talk to you soon.